this year Jason is in charge of planning Valentine's Day. This is feeling really nostalgic. It brings back a lot of memories. But Jason's taking me to some axe throwing. <laughs> Unfortunately, his date at the last minute was unable to attend, and so he's still planning on going on all the activities, yes? Yep. That was me. We interrupt our Valentine's vlog with Super Bowl Sunday. We survived this day celebrating all things love and pink and red <laughs> and candy and sugar. Valentine's Day falls on a Tuesday and in the middle of the week holidays make it really hard <laughs> to get all of our celebrating and festive activities and traditions all packed into the day so we're gonna spread it out this year Jason is in charge of planning Valentine's Day I will be planning our anniversary later in the year and so tonight he's going to take me out on a date and I don't know where we're going he's planning it and it's a surprise so that's what we're doing right now all right we are in vineyard and I just learned that we're going to try out a new restaurant called Subame sushi and it's what like on a rotator conveyor Rotating belt conveyor belt so fun I love sushi this is feeling really nostalgic this brings back a lot of memories the signage just brings back like memories little burger joint so good and they weren't everywhere it's like I guess it's like in and out burger where you don't have them everywhere okay but I mean seeing like the 7-eleven sign on every corner a big camera electronic store yeah it's kind of fun yeah so this is how it works there's a plate menu here that tells you the pricing and as the conveyor belt goes past grab the sushi or the item that you want, and then they add up all the plates at the end of the night. Sunset. I better get this over here. Huh? This well, shows how bad I am at A little uh, salmon, <laughs> nigiri sushi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, we got quite the tab collecting. Oh, man. Hey. Here you go. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Baby. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh. It's uh, melting off the whipped cream. That's a banana tempura, or what is that? Yeah, tempura banana mochi. This is a fun surprise. I thought that we were done with our evening after dinner, but Jason's taking me to some axe throwing. <laughs> you want to try this one? <laughs> yes. Pistol on your right? There you go. Not very good at this. Well, neither was I. Hey, there it is. Your middle line with at least your, your two-handed throw. I, I hit the target. That's all there I'm going go. for. I think we're starting Technically, to figure it out. Technically, that is touching red. So. I think that's a bullseye. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay. I think your weapon of choice should be throwing stars. Ooh, that one's in there good too. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, that one. Uh, so, I think I heard a little hit there. Little ding. Yeah. That's cool. Oh. Aww. We got to see this. Y'all, I'm like 
a ninja. I'm a ninja. Good morning. These two just finished up a bowl of cereal. They are getting ready to head out to Extreme Air Sports. So Spencer had scheduled today his sweetheart's dance and everything. Unfortunately, his date at the last minute was unable to attend, and so he's still planning on going on all the activities, yes? Yep. That was me. So Ella's gonna go. Are you, what else are you doing today? Is, are you taking her to dinner too? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just going to take her to the pictures. Oh, okay. So they're going to go to Extreme Air Sports and just hang out together, brother and sis. Yep. Hey, you guys, have a fun time together. Okay. Okay. You going to finish your milk? No. I'm a freak. Finish your milk. It's too much. Well, you pour so much. Well, we made it. You ready to jump, Bella? Let's do it. Let's go. Wow. Oh. Do a flip. Just try. It's so fun. Woo. There's nobody here. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ouch. Uh, uh. Boom. Playing some dodgeball. Oh, yeah, on trampolines. Well, we're gonna go back ow. <laughs> well, we're gonna go bounce and have some fun, so that's what we're doing. We interrupt our Valentine vlog with Super Bowl Sunday. And this is our tradition for our family. It's kind of evolved over the years into this, just mostly eating food. Everybody's gonna grab a tray. Yep. They can grab a, a little cup for salsa or dips. And the chips are downstairs, so grab a roll with pulled pork. We've got two different kinds of boneless chicken bite type things, shrimp and lots of fruit and fruit dip. And it's delicious. I don't see many vegetables, but okay. whatevs. And later after for dessert, we've got cinnamon rolls and I don't know what those are. Those pastry, pastry things and raspberry rolls from Shirley's Bakery. Oh yeah, it Yummy. is going to be so good. This is our setup. We are good to go. Y'all ready for Super Bowl 30, what is it? 37. 37. Is it 57? We're not back in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how long they've been doing this. Alrighty, we're back on track with our Valentine's Day traditions. Now, Valentine's Day this year falls on a school day. It's a weekday. And those mornings are just super duper tricky for us to do a full on breakfast together. And one of my traditions that I've been doing since I was little, my mother used to make us heart shaped pink Valentine's pancakes. So instead of trying to squeeze it in in the morning, tomorrow morning, we are gonna do them the night before for dinner. Have you ever had breakfast for dinner? We do it every now and again when we're in a time crunch and this year we're in a time crunch so breakfast for dinner is heart-shaped pancakes now i already added the food coloring and it looks like i got a little carried away but that's what we're doing right now gotta get the pancakes going and i'm gonna make the syrup we're gonna add some fruit frozen strawberries and and berries to the syrup so it's fun and pink and festive and then later tonight we've got a basketball game of ellis to go catch Valentine's Day and it's like 
almost 5.30 and I've just gotten done with a long day at work and rehearsal. And I picked up Ella, she had rehearsal. We are running errands. We've got a Heart Baker pizza at Papa Murphy's to pick up. That's our tradition on Valentine's Day. We do that pizza for dinner. And I just have to say, this is so awesome. As I was coming out of the school and getting into my car, feeling a little bedraggled because I had just spent an hour and 45 minutes trying to finish up staging for Be Our Guest with like 50 kids, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Some cute girl parked her car and ran up to me and handed me this rose and said, I just want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I didn't know who she was. She was just a stranger and just said, I'm just spreading some love and isn't that sweet? It's probably the only rose I'm getting today. <laughs> Jason doesn't get me flowers and that's okay. I can buy my own flowers. We're going to pick up the pizza, take it home. I got to get Ella to piano lessons and then we'll have dinner with the rest of the family. Whew. And we made it. We survived this day mm. celebrating all things love and pink and red, red. <laughs> and candy and sugar. So it's been good. Pizza! Dinner! We better get home, I'm starving. This is why we decided to celebrate Valentine's Day a couple of days ago. Because today has been so busy and crazy. Ella's off at piano lessons. Spencer's off at work. We just pulled the pizza out of the oven. Everyone had rehearsals. Today. Everyone had rehearsals today. Garrett, you had rehearsal for Adam's family. Mm -hmm. I had my Beauty and the Beast, and Ella had hers for her. Sh what is their show even? It's like show music, music flips hits. or something. So, yeah, we did wake up to. These are the Valentine treats that Dad was so kind to surprise us all with this morning. Sometimes it just is what it is. <laughs> What is what this? this holiday is what it was. A little, yeah. a little crazy. It doesn't, have to be. it doesn't have to be perfect to be memorable. And we kept the main key traditions going. But I will say, I am ready to get back on track with eating normal foods. Are you ready to be back on track with eating normal foods? What do you mean, what's normal? I don't know. normal? I'm normal. Okay, so there's this cider. peach flavored cider, and then there's red grape. Way to celebrate and make it fancy. Yeah, baby. Happy Valentine's, everybody. I think we're gonna call it a night.